Yo, what's happening guys? It's JT Judgment here. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are watching this video and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend review in the form of the 88 rated striker. Is it Davo Zuke or Zuke? I want to apologize in advance guys if I am butchering his name but for the purposes of this video I'm going to refer to him as Zuke. So yeah, Zuke we're going to be looking at today guys. 88 rated striker legend. We'll go through his in-game stats first. 91 on the composure. 85 on the attack position and 84 balance 83 on the reactions 85 ball control 88 on the finishing 87 on the dribbling and 88 on the head in accuracy guys most of his stats are in the mid 80s which is a very very nice thing to see in game stats look pretty decent on the card he's got 81 pace 86 on the shooting as well as 86 on the dribbling 66 on the defending 79 passing and 77 on the physical guys so you know stats wise he looks pretty reliable what was he like in game well let's get into my opinions guys so guys Juka for me he turned out to be one of those you know really weird players for me the ones that actually look like they do well when you look at their record after finishing using them but when you think back to using the player you can't really remember enjoying using him that much you know he did his job for me guys I can't complain about that I mean he scored about 15 16 goals in about 12 or 13 games I think I played with him I think he managed to pick up two or three uh, assists along the way as well guys but you know, I just didn't really enjoy using him. He was one of those players for me, guys. Have you ever experienced that? You know, you use a player in this game, they actually turn out to do half decent for you in, in terms of their record, but you just don't remember using them and enjoying them. You know, it's 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 really weird, you know? There's only two weaknesses, guys, two consistent weaknesses that I did find with this card that I do need to mention is that his passing for me was very, very unreliable. Even though he did manage to pick up one or two assists for me along the way of using him, I just, it's just, just, it's just passing was bad, guys. <laughs> you know, bottom line, passing was bad for me. And his positioning, guys, he's got high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. He's got 85 uh, on the attack positioning stat as well, guys. But I don't know. He just, his positioning for me, it was kind of terrible. You know, he was one of those players that doesn't want to make runs on his own for me. I was making runs with my, you know, the other players in my team. And I could physically see Zuka standing in the same spot waiting for me to pass the ball to him you know it was something that it really did it frustrated me you know frustrated me while using this card because if I use a striker especially a legend and he is 88 rated guys I want the card to make runs on their own you know I actually want the player to do something to help me score goals with them rather than make me do absolutely everything with the card to you know eventually score goals and put the ball into the back of the net you know so his positioning and passing for me uh, were the only weak Weaknesses that I did need to find uh, or to mention I should say with this card moving into everything else now that I did find with this card is dribbling and ball control for me was half decent he has got 88 dribbling or 86 dribbling on the card my apologies there guys and in game he felt half decent for me thankfully he wasn't one of those players that has a decent stat on the card but then in game he just feels absolutely trash in that area guys so I gotta say dribbling it was pretty decent with this card his shooting for me was pretty fantastic as well I mean from the goals you going to see in this video it'll show you exactly what this card is capable of you know you get him on his left foot and he will be able to score some absolute screamers for you that is for damn sure so finishing inside the box was very reliable shooting from outside the box for me as well was very reliable so I had a lot of fun just shooting from a distance that's for damn sure you guys know me I like taking my long shots so that is definitely something that I utilized with this card his pace for me was very good as well he does have 81 pace on the card now I did use him in the hunter chem style I don't know if that had any anything to do with him actually feeling faster than the stat he has on the card guys but Hunter does boost him up from 81 pace to 93 pace he didn't quite feel like 93 pace for me but he definitely felt quicker than 81 if I had to say what I think it felt like I'd probably say around the 84 maybe 85 pace mark maybe 86 at a stretch but it was a very very nice thing guys to see in game after seeing 81 pace on the card and actually him feeling as fast as he did for me it was a very very nice surprise you know his weak foot for me was pretty reliable he does have four star skills and four star weak foot guys so that makes him much more reliable when inside the box because you can you know you don't really need to think about what foot to shoot with you can just shoot with his right foot if needed and that's exactly what I did on multiple occasions and it proved to be very
very effective with me guys so in my opinion I gotta say he felt like a four star weak foot and obviously the four star skills that's just a plus for pretty much everyone you know if you are a skiller then you can utilize them and score some fantastic goals and have a lot of fun in the process of using this card if you're not a skiller then they are there for you to potentially practice at some point while using the card you know me personally I don't really skill in this game but there are some times where I like to have the option to use them you know so that is something nice with this card as well his strength for me was very reliable as well he's got 77 physical on the card but I, I don't know what was going on guys but in game he felt like a player with 85 physical you know he was keeping the ball very very well he was proving himself to be a very very strong striker for me his aerial ability for me was half decent as well guys it wasn't absolutely insane but it wasn't terrible at the same time it was one of those things where I had to put as a strength because it, ju it just wasn't that bad with the player for me to consider it a weakness you know guys so I got to put that as a strength as well and obviously like I've mentioned uh, the four star skills is a very nice uh, plus with this card so when it comes down to it guys I mean Juca he was a he was a decent player you know I mean you look at his record and he actually did his job pretty well you know I can't complain about that he did score many goals for me and in the process actually scored some pretty decent ones in fact as well you know but when it comes to the enjoyment with the player it just wasn't there with me you know I just didn't enjoy using him as much as I was hoping to I hope you guys can understand that if you guys have any players uh, in this game that you have experienced that with be sure to let me know in the comment section down below that'd be very very interesting to hear but I gotta say he's worth it you know I think he costs around the region of 200,000 coins I mean when you look at the record how could I say he's not worth it you know because he scored some decent goals for me and he actually scored more goals than games that he did play you know so he actually did the job very well for me so I gotta say he's worth it guys 200,000 coins you get in a decent card it's just for me personally the enjoyment level wasn't as high as I was expecting it to be you know it's just how it goes sometimes with this game so that's going to wrap up this Davos Juke review in FIFA 17 ultimate team guys if you did enjoy this video drop a like subscribe today for more content to come soon and as always guys most importantly please take care and I will see you all next time ta-da guys